Okay guys, welcome back to Kit Guru. It's just a quick one from me today. There's a couple of things I want to show you quickly. The first one is this new CPU cooler from Deep Cool. It's the LT720 in white. I reviewed this cooler in black a couple of months ago. Good CPU cooler. I'm going to be doing a unboxing video of this today because I tested the black one not so long ago. Seems pretty pointless just testing a white version. I don't expect it to be any better or any worse than the black version. I might just quickly show you some thermals if we have time but it's going to be an unboxing video the other thing is we have a new cpu cooler test bench i know a few of you have mentioned recently that the 5950x doesn't push the coolers hard enough so we are updating the cpu cooler test bench to this which is a intel core i9 13900ks gigabyte z790 oros master motherboard some g skill rip jaws ddr5 so that should be able to push every CPU cooler to its limits. The CPU, even at stock, runs at about 300 watts package power. So that is going to be the new test bench. And like I say, if I have time, I will just quickly try this LT720 in white and the black one on that and see if the performance is as similar as I expect. Iron Wolf Pro, tough, ready, scalable. So the Deepcool LT720 in white, if you remember a couple of months back, I reviewed the black version. It performed really well on the 5950X test bench. I expect this to give similar performance to the black one. I don't see why changing the color should make that much difference at all to the performance. This will be available in the UK from the 25th of April. Not entirely sure on the UK price, but in the US it's around $139. Hopefully the black ones and the white one will be similar price. In the UK, you can get the black one for about £120 now. So hopefully they'll be a similar price. This includes a 27 millimeter thick aluminium radiator, a deep cool fourth generation pump with a powerful three phase motor that spins up to 3,100 RPM and a solid micro skive copper cold plate the fans included with this are deep cool fk120 fans obviously they're in white these are what the black ones look like the white ones look very similar but obviously in white fans run between 500 to 2250 rpm pwm control high static pressure and a maximum noise level of 32.9 decibels so let's get on with the unboxing uh typical deep cool packaging got this kind of plain cardboard look to it nowadays you've got a bit more subtle recently with the packaging deep cool i like it that game of storm theme's gone now I wasn't really keen on that so i'm glad to see that go so slide off the sleeve then open up the box and let's see what we've got inside all pulls out on a cardboard carton and then in here we have three fans so these are the FK120s in white. Just pop them next to the black ones so you can see. Very similar looking fans, similar fan blade design. Got rubber mounting points, anti-vibration. Apparently the white ones are made from a different material to the black ones and it's supposed to make them slightly quieter. But to look at them, they look very, very similar. No RGB lighting on this. If you want extra RGB lighting with deep cool, I think it's the LS720 that has RGB fans. So they're the FK120 fans. You get three of those with the cooler. PWM control. And they're all standard four pin fan headers. So no additional fan controller is needed for the fans, which is good. And then the actual cooler get rid of all the plastic bags and there's a box of accessories in there can get rid of that box now the actual cooler itself like i said standard 27 millimeter thick aluminium radiator mostly white looks like a nice clean smooth it's not a glossy or a matte finish it's like a satin finish it's got a slight sheen to it the uh, plug for that expansion anti-leak thing is still black that's a shame i'd like to have seen that in white the tubing looks nice 
nice braided sleeving in white and you also get a couple of these deep cool tubing clips that kind of hold it in place and like the black version the top cover comes off and it's got that uh, infinity mirror design thing there is some rgb lighting on there i'll plug it into a power supply in a bit and show you that so you can see there there's just a led circuit board there for the rgb so that should light up with rgb lighting underneath that cover the pump unit is black so inside there is the deep cool fourth generation pump with the powerful three-phase motor on the bottom this does actually come with some thermal compound pre-applied but i have already installed it once just to make sure that it works so that's been removed but it does come with pre-applied thermal compound you don't get any extra in the box which is a bit of a shame i do like to see a little tube just in case you have to reinstall it in the future to install this on intel and amd platforms you just screw a couple of brackets to the bottom and then it uh, all goes down and is secured in place with some thumb screws on top of the brackets so you can see there is the cold plate got articulating 90 degree fittings at the bottom so there's a bit of movement there for installation and also like the fans the uh, pump is just a standard header so it's this is a three pin voltage control header so that is the cooler it's quite a nice looking radiator it'll fit in lovely with your white theme build so if you are thinking of building a white theme system anytime soon might be worth looking at this Obviously, when you get the top cover back on here, the uh, the black's hidden, really. You don't see any of that. You just see this nice top white and mirror finish cover. It's actually a little different to the black one, the top cover. So the white one, it's mostly white with the infinity mirror. And the uh, black one is actually this kind of gunmetal grey or silver top. Not sure why Deep Cool did that with the black one, but there's a bit of a difference. It's good to see that more or less everything on the white one is white. Sometimes with white coolers and white fans you sometimes get like black cables and stuff deep cools kept the cables white on the fans and on the pump which is good to see just take a quick look inside the box to see what you get with it in terms of accessories so in a little folder there you get some information and the installation manual the installation covers all current intel and amd platforms including the latest lj 1700 and am5 this back plate this is for intel installations you just slide the pins backwards and forwards depending on which socket you're using so the outermost ones they're for lga 1700 you also get these three fan adapters these look like those things that have a little resistor in there to reduce the speed of the fans i think that's what they're for and there's also a pwm splitter so you'll be able to plug all the fans into that and then just to one header on the motherboard also in the kit get some bags of parts so this one is for intel installation inside that bag you've got the intel brackets some standoffs and then different height spaces depending on which socket you're using so 115x and lj1700 everything's in there for intel and then there's a amd installation pack so they're the standoffs and spaces for am4 am5 and brackets again they screw to the bottom of the cpu block and you just screw it all down to the standoff get some fan screws nice chrome finish to match the white and then there is the thumb screws that mounts the cooler down to the back plate. So that is everything you get with the cooler. It looks nice and clean in this white finish. I think what I'll do is I'll bolt the fans onto it and then hook it up to a power supply on the bench here. And you can see what it looks like when it's up and running, but just a quick side by side comparison. So there's the white one. And there's the black one so no matter whether you're building a black system you can use the lt720 in black build a new white build you can build the lt720 in white so i'll hook this up to a power supply and see what it looks like when it's all lit up in rgb got the cooler connected up to a power supply on the bench 
should be able to flip the switch and it'll all come on. I did use those noise adapters for the fans because I didn't want the fans to be too loud whilst doing the video. So that should reduce the RPM of the fans and keep them pretty quiet. The RGB is connected to just um, like a standalone RGB controller that I pulled out of a case at some point and it just uses a standard default three pin five volt motherboard header so you can connect the RGB lighting up to a motherboard header when you install it and control it with motherboard software but I've got it connected up to this standalone hub and I have the switch here so I can flick through so let's power it on and have a look see what it looks like So there we go, it's powered on, fans are spinning and the RGB lighting effects are running. Same RGB lighting effects as you get on the black version. I'll just quickly scroll through, see if we can scroll through some effects with this. Just switching between different colours. The purple looks quite nice, I like how that looks. You can also have it in white, white looks pretty good. So you can just flip through the di different RGB lighting effects. There's like a rainbow RGB effect there. It's quite subtle the RGB lighting on this cooler. Not as bright and as in your face as some, but when it's inside the case in a bit of a darker environment, it does look quite nice. Yeah, it looks nice, a nice looking cooler. Like I say, if you're thinking of building a white system anytime in the future, this might be one to think about. It's got a really nice white theme running all the way through it. It's basically everything's white just a bit of green from the deep cool logo there so if you're thinking of building a deep cool theme build this will be ideal in white so i have done a bit of testing on this and the black version uh on the new intel 13th gen 3900ks test bench as i said it was just a quick bit of testing so i just left the cpu stock stock frequency stock voltages cpu runs at about 300 watts package power when everything's stock. And as I thought, there isn't much difference at all in thermal performance between the white and the black version. Black one was running at 91 degrees average, the white one at 93 degrees average. That could be just down to margin of error. And then noise levels, again, very similar between the black one and the white one. So the LT720 in black, maximum noise levels with fans at maximum RPMs, 53 decibels, and the LT720 in white is running at 52 decibels. So basically identical performance, you're not losing any performance from the white coating and you're not gaining anything, maybe just gaining a slight reduction in noise level with the white, with this different material that they're made out of, but they're both very good coolers and that is a difficult CPU to keep cool. 91 to 93 degrees is pretty good for that CPU. I did a lot of testing and delidding and things with the 3900KS and that is a good result. So this looks like it's gonna be performing well on Intel we know it performs well on AMD on the previous generation. So it looks like a good cooler. As I say, you can get this from the 25th of April in the UK. Price in dollars is 139. Hopefully it will be cheap enough in the UK. Deep cooler, well known for offering good value. So I expect it to be good value. It's a good looking CPU cooler. It'll look great in a white build or a white deep cool theme build. So there is the LT720 in white. I hope you enjoyed watching this quick video. If you have, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. If you like what we do here at Kit Guru, you wanna help support us, go and head over to the store and pick up some of the merch or subscribe to our Patreon. And as always, if you wanna catch up on all the in-depth technical reviews, head over to the website. Mm -hmm.